Bruno Fernandes, the 24-year-old sporting Lisbon midfielder's transfer this summer has become another saga as far as Manchester United fans are concerned. And if anything, it's increasing in intensity. The reports over the last few weeks have intensified to the point where some are suggesting that Man United have already agreed a deal to sign Bruno Fernandes from Sporting this summer. But have we? Will Bruno Fernandes become another signing by Solskjaer this summer? Would he be a good signing? Where are the stories coming from? What I'm going to do in today's video is run through the full story of Bruno Fernandes to Man United and discuss it with you and maybe look at the best formation that Solskjaer can use to get the most out of Fernandes if he does join United this summer. Now, if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you go down to the bottom, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell as well. And if you're a regular, you know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Let's get straight into this one. So what is the latest on Bruno Fernandes to Man United? Fernandes to United has massively intensified over the last couple of weeks. As I said, to the point where some suggest United have already agreed a deal with Sporting and are talking to Fernandes directly. Others suggest United are putting a big offer to better Spurs' offer for Fernandes, but all these reports are coming from either Portugal or Italy. Not much is being said in the English press, and I'll discuss that later on, but it's certainly gathering pace. But for United fans, we're all growing impatient, a bit like with Matthias De Ligt. Tons of rumours, tons of hearsay, not much actual concrete movement. And that's the case with Bruno Fernandes at the moment, but these rumours haven't just appeared out of nowhere in the last week or so. They've been around for a little while and they have certainly intensified very, very quickly because the first links really came, or first strong links came at the start of May. At that point, City were considered strong favourites to sign him, but then surprisingly, United came back to the fore with reports now suggesting a deal, as I said, is already agreed with Sporting. But who else is interested in signing Bruno Fernandes this summer? As I said, Man City, they were considered sort of favourites with David Silva leaving the club at some point soon. He was considered a perfect replacement. But Spurs have also had their name thrown into the mix to the point where they're considered a strong contender to sign him as well. So that's City, Spurs and United. Plenty of interest in Bruno Fernandes. And it's not really surprising because the 24-year-old did have a sensational season with Sporting. Now, it should be noted here that there hasn't really been too much noise from the English press. The likes of James Ducker from The Telegraph, Jason Burt, Rob Dawson, Mark Ogden, the sort of established United press, haven't really said much about Bruno Fernandes to United. It's mainly been coming from Portugal and Italy, which I suppose is understandable given that he plays in Portugal at the moment and he's played previously in Italy for five years as well. But is the fact that the English press aren't saying anything, is that a sign that this is all just hot air? or just another load of transfer rumours like Nicholas Gaetan to United, or is it just the fact that British press don't know and that United are keeping it tight on the domestic front? And that might be a reason why they're not saying anything? I don't know. You can determine what you want from that, but that's pretty much the full story of Bruno Fernandes to United. All the stories are mainly coming from Portugal, some from Italy as well, but not really much from the English press. That being said, Fernandes has been egging on the rumours himself when discussing his future in the press this summer. He's previously said, I always said that I was an ambitious player and from a very early age I have a dream of playing in England where you can live pure football without big controversy, without big cases. Now there's been plenty of controversy out in the Portuguese league to do with match fixing, referees, a whole load of stuff. So maybe Bruno Fernandes is tired of that, but he said this back in May. So clearly Fernandes is happy for these rumours to manifest, to grow bigger. Because clearly he's interested, not, he's previously also spoken and said, look, I love sports in Lisbon. If a big club comes in, you know, I'm not gonna stand in the way of it, obviously, but he's not egging it on. He's not forcing a move, but he's not stopping it either. He's being smart, really, what he's saying in the press. He won't piss off sport in Lisbon fans with what he's saying, but he's welcoming other clubs to come in for him, such as United, City and Spurs. But is he really, really worth it? How good was he last season? Bruno Fernandes was sensational last year. 53 appearances, 32 goals and 13 assists. He got two domestic cups, won the UEFA Nations League with Portugal, was named in the UEFA Nations League team of the tournament. He had a fantastic year and he ended as the all-time highest goal-scoring midfielder in a single season that Portugal has ever had. Bruno Fernandes really looks like the real deal. And of course, there are players who storm it in foreign leagues, come to the Premier League and struggle. But there are also players 
like Cristiano Ronaldo, like Eden Hazard, who come from foreign leagues and are a class above. Bruno Fernandes looks more towards that side of the category than the one season wonders that come over and don't do much. I might be wrong in saying that, let me know what you think, but he looks classy enough to do it at the very top level in the Premier League with any team. So I think if United or City or Spurs sign in this summer, they're going to sign a very, very good player. But where would he fit in at United? Let's take a look at a potential formation that Solskjaer could use if we do sign Fernandes this summer. Now bear in mind with this team I've got here, it's a bit of a dream team. There's signings there that we're probably not going to make, but I'm just doing it to highlight how important those positions are. So it's a 4-3-3 with a holding midfielder with two central midfielders in front of him. Now that holding midfielder is key. And I hope to God it's Ruben Neves. I don't know whether it's going to be, but I'm still hoping and praying because whoever that defensive midfielder is has to cover all the ground, has to make sure that Pogba and Fernandez in this formation have the ability to be creative midfielders first and foremost. If he does that job properly as a holding mid, it allows Fernandez and Pogba to effectively both be attacking midfielders. Now, Fernandez was mainly a central attacking midfielder last year with Sporting Lisbon. I don't think he'll get that same role at United if he was to join. So that's why I'm putting it down here as a 4-3-3, because it allows Pogba and Fernandez to both express themselves going forward. Now, Pogba's going to be a central figure next year. I'm pretty certain of it. Juventus might want him, but I don't think United will let him go. Not this summer, certainly. So having him and Fernandez in the same team, you've got to get a formation that gets the most out of both of them. And this would certainly do that. And we don't really have too many options going forward, not in the wide positions. So focusing on a formation that gets the most out of the middle might not be a bad thing either. But that's why I've gone for a 4-3-3. I think you get the most out of Fernandez, you get the most out of Pogba, but it all depends on getting that holding midfielder as well. So for this formation to work, we can't have Matic there. He's not mobile enough. So for Fernandez to work in this formation, we need another central midfield signing this summer. Whether that will happen, I don't know. But on paper, this formation looks absolutely class. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. So that is the full story of Bruno Fernandes to Man United, how it's developed over time from links in Portugal and links in Italy to the English press not really saying too much, not at the moment. Do you think we'll sign him? Let me know in the comments below. But one thing's for sure. Whether it's Bruno Fernandes or somebody else, United do need to inject goals into this team next year because we struggled. And with reports suggesting that we're selling Romelu Lukaku, even more so United need to get more goals into this team. And that's something that Bruno Fernandes would bring. 30 plus of them is what he got last year. No one's saying he'd do that in the Premier League. He certainly, if he did, it'd be incredible. But he'd add a massive goal threat. And we need that going forward. It's not just about sorting the defence this year. There's issues going forward too. But let me know what you think about all the rumours. Would you be happy if we did sign Bruno Fernandes from Sporting Lisbon? Do you think he'd be good enough to come straight into this team and make a big difference? Let me know in the comments below. And if that's not the formation you think would work best with him, which formation would? Again, pop it in the comments. Now, if you're still here and you're still new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. But until next time though, take it easy.